Have you ever been at a point in your life where you just wanted truck loads of mutations, specifically RG mutations? Not that it matters, but you just like RGs and you wanted millions of different mutations. Not only mutations, but you did not want to spend the amber on pheromones. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it is I, Dragon here, back with another video. And today, today, we are going to be looking at how you can get lots of mutations with zero pheromones used. That's right, do you see this arsenal of mutations behind me right now? Do you see this? Do you see all of this? Are you looking at this? And there's more down there, but do you see this? Yes, this was all gotten with zero pheromones and all under one month. That's right, crazy, am I right? I've posted some of these on the ARC Discord and people were like, man, how did you get all of that? So today, today I'm about to tell you how. So let's, let's get into it. All right. All right, so as we can see here, I am inside the facility. We're gonna have a quick tour of the facility first because this is a big part in teaching you how to make it. And we'll go along some of the steps as well on the way. So yeah, we have one, en Jesus, come on. We have one entrance here. As we can see, it's looking pretty, pretty good right now. Looking good. We have this beautiful entrance here. It's quite a large facility. It really depends on how many you want to breed at a time. I made mine pretty large. I pretty much reached structure cap. Few structures to spare, but pretty much reached it. But yeah, so as we can see, we have Argentavises that are constantly breeding. Let me just show you a second. Let me just pick up some of these regular eggs and then the fertilized ones will start to fall. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of, there's a little imperfections, but for the most part, this is an automatic Argentavis farm. And you do have to get on a few times just to, you know, check on it, all that stuff. But for the most part, you got yourself an Argentavis farm that is automatic. So yeah, let's let's get into it. So as we can see here, some of these Argentavises have eggs that just plopped on the ground, right? And as you can see, they are hatching, incubating, zero pheromones used. All of these are just falling on the floor like this, right? Beautiful, beautiful. This happens about every two hours. They just, you know, hop on the floor right there. We're going to pick these up right now because we don't want them to hatch at the moment. But yeah, they will basically incubate all, like all 34 minutes of the time or depending on the server settings, they will incubate. This only works on multiplayer servers just because you kind of need them to be, that you need them to be kind of able to do this. In single player, everything pauses when you stop, so you don't want to have to do that. So make sure that you are on a multiple game server, make sure you're on playing with other people in order for this to work, or else you will probably find a lot of problems and will not be able to do this properly. So yeah, make sure that you're doing that or else you'll encounter some issues. As you can see, I already have a lot of fertilized eggs inside of this refrigerator, full fridge full. And now we're going to go onto this refrigerator and just continue to place all of these eggs. Not only is this an Argentavis farm for mutations, this is also an Argentavis farm for eggs and kibble. As you can see, I have a lot of Argentavis eggs and a lot of kibble going on here. So it's kind of good, kind of good, not gonna lie. And yeah, so that's basically how it works. That's how it works, it just falls down and you got yourself some beautiful Argentavises. So yeah, let's let's look in the inside. In the inside in the middle here, I have some Argentavises that are just, oh, they're just kind of chilling here. These are all mutations that I either don't have pairs of or I just, I'm not ready to showcase or um, I don't wanna breed them yet or just, yeah. So this is just the garage. And if we go down here, we can see that this is where the magic happens. We have, these air conditioners all underneath the floor, that is allowing the eggs to incubate. That is allowing these eggs to incubate as soon as they fall without pheromones and you don't even have to whistle at all because they'll just automatically breed and fall. So you want to make sure that you have a lot of air conditioners on the bottom floor. So let's get into how you will make this kind of get you mutations and how you will get them to 
you know, get them to breed. So as you can see in this contraption here, um, I'll show you guys how to make it in a second. We have these Argentavises and they're both, you know, sitting here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit awkward, you know, they're just kind of walking in here. And this took a lot of, you know, a lot of trial and error to get this design correct. And it might not look the best, but it does the job. It works, the eggs fall, and yeah. So you want to make sure that you have the following materials. Two metal ramps. You want to make sure you have two metal catwalks. About um, 10 to 11 walls of your choice. You want to make sure you have four ceilings and you want to make sure that you have a solid wall that has already been constructed in the back. So yeah, I'll get into how to make this right now. All right, so we have our wall here and then we have our two RGs here, male and female. Um, what you wanna do, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a wall. It doesn't have to look like this. You don't have to have this um, metal gateway here. It can just be a plain, bland wall. I just did it for decoration and make sure that it is five high. So you need 10 walls in the back. Then what you wanna do is you want to find this part here. You want it to be too high. Put the can, the, not the cantilever, sorry. Put the catwalks right here, two stone walls up. What this is gonna do is it's gonna be a place for the Argentavis to land and yeah. So then what you wanna do, you, if you don't have God console, just find a way to get up here. You want to go into your inventory and you want to take your four ceilings. You need four ceilings for this. Is, this is not a negotiation. You need four ceilings. Okay, so put four ceilings down and then you'll have this kind of structure going on here. What you want to do at this point is you want to take your walls, any sort of walls that you have. You want to do three down like this and two down like this. I'm pretty sure. I will have to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is how it works. So make sure that you have three down like this, uh, two down like this, and yeah, hold on, let me just, yes, that, that, that is how it works. So make sure that your structure looks like this, and then add two walls down like so. So your structure should look like this. You don't need these type of walls. You can use any sort of walls that you want. Make sure that your structure is looking like this. Might not be the prettiest structure in the world, but just, yes. Then what you wanna do is you wanna take your male RG first, and you want to fly it into the cantilever, not the cantilever, the catwalk on the left. Make sure it is pushed up against the wall to the furthest that it can go. Then you want to take your female Argentavis. This order is very important. And you want to make sure that you're landing it. This part can be tedious, might take a few tries, but it does work. You want to make sure that you are landing your Argentavis on the catwalk. Then what you want to do is you want to take your two ramps. You want to take two ramps and you want to put them make sure they are like this on each side. You want to do it like this. Then you will have your Argentavises looking like this. The female's butt will be sticking out of the ramp, but it will be unable to move outside of the ramp. Then what you want to do is you want to put both of these Argentavis on wandering. And what you'll see will happen is these birds will start to mate and they will move around when they mate. And I'm telling you right now, some of the Argentavises will glitch out onto the roof and you will have to put them back in. All you have to do is take out the ramps and they will be able to fly out easily. So if that does happen, that's all you have to do. Then I will come back when these RGs are about to finish breeding and you will see how the egg will fall underneath. A few moments later. All right, so the Argentavis are about to finish breeding. As you can see here, it is 94% done. We'll just sit back and relax, watch the show, you know? Maybe don't watch the show. I'm just doing it for the recording. What? What the f do not demonetize me, it's just Argentavis's. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, anyway, as we can see, they are about to finish mating. They're gonna do the action very soon. Hopefully, come on, man. Oh, bro, are you kidding me right now? So if this happens and your Argentavis says this, what happens is, is this will happen likely during your, like, your time inside of this farm. And it will not happen right away, but it will happen shortly after you start to get a lot of RGs, especially females. So what you wanna do is you wanna look over all of your RGs and you want to look, yeah, see this one just glitched through. It happens a lot, but just make sure that your RGs are, you know, they're, they're not wandering away. So make sure you have battlements, but it's not, it's not a perfect system, but it does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. 
Um, we're just gonna find an egg quickly. We're gonna find any eggs that may have fallen and yeah so let's just quickly grab see some of them will actually end up like this and you will have to manually grab them they may still hatch see this one is still incubating this one is still incubating as you can see so it will still hatch in the facility you can either claim it or kill it when it hatches so it'll still hatch regardless but it's just not ideal so then what we want to do is we want to just continue collecting eggs and then hopefully hopefully this will start to hatch hopefully see as we can see the egg is right there it's very beautiful since there's no air conditioners underneath it will actually not incubate but as we can see it just falls right down here and you have eggs and if you have air conditioners underneath like i said before then you are basically set and they will incubate and you don't have to worry about anything just leave them on wandering and what will happen is is they will just continue to do it on a two hour interval or whatever your server settings are on so that's basically how you do it there are a few other things that you have to keep in mind just like i had said so i will you know list those in a few seconds so that's the basic stuff and this is not a confirmed system you will maybe or maybe not get mutations however however there is something you can do to increase your mutation chance a few things number one you can have a unicorn inside of your facility because unicorns actually increase the mutation rates on your area that the unicorn's in. So if you hatch them near the unicorn or you just leave a unicorn in your facility, you'll likely get some mutations, you know? So you might wanna get a unicorn. If not, then there's another way you can do this. I find, especially with Argentavis eggs, what happens is, is if you breed a bunch of Argentavises and collect the eggs, do not hatch them, just collect them and put them in fridges like I'm doing here and hatch all of them at once, you will get new mutations. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that actually. I'll come back in like 20 minutes and I'll leave all of these eggs out to hatch and we will see what happens because man, man oh man, do I wanna see if we get any new mutations. Since I have full mutated Argus already, I may or may not get new mutations, but this is a very, very, very good way to get new mutations if you just hatch all of them at once and see what happens. So we're going to do that. And I have two fridges basically full of RG eggs. As we can see, it's quite a party in here. Um, we're just going to drop all of them. This is like a few days of me collecting the eggs. So you will get this many eggs in a few days if you have this scale of a facility. I do recommend, you know, pitting two of them, at like if there's gaps in between, just so if you want a specific pair to breed, the females aren't getting mixed up with what male to breed. I didn't do that for these parts, but that is something that I can do. As you can see, I do have a RG up there. I think this is one I didn't claim. Uh, yes, I didn't claim this, but I do have an Argentavis up here, just chilling, you know. Um, we do sell these, actually. We are trading these on the ARC Discord. Um, DM Drew's Kicks on Discord to get some of these. Bred by yours truly. So, yeah, that is basically how you do it. I'll be back in, like, a half an hour when all of these eggs are hatched. Two hours later. All right. All right. So we're back. Um, I looked through all of these RGs. There were not many new color mutations. We did get some stat mutations, though. I'm not going to claim most of these because we already have enough of them up there. But we did get some new combinations. Let me just show you one of the new combinations we got that are cool. This cool combination here. We have some more of these now, which is really, really cool. So you can get new combinations once you have enough. You might have to replace your line every so often just so you can get new mutations because after you have a certain amount of mutations, it's very difficult to get new ones. But yeah, as you can see, we have some mutations going on here. A lot of RGs I have to kill now and clean up, but that will not be too hard with my Griffin. That is pretty much how you make a Argentavis farm. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions about how to make 
the Argentave's farm how to some other tips and whatever let me know um i'll leave my discord in the description you can you know ping me or anything so yeah hope this video helped you 